Hello and welcome back to another video. Um, I think it should work this time. Um, I have already played an hour of this game. Um, like literally this beginning bit because uh, I recorded it. Um, I recorded the, the first three episodes of what I thought was going to be. If you've seen the community cat community tab on my channel, you know what's happened. Uh, I've got to save the clip. Um, and was able, unable to upload it, but hopefully um, we'll be able to do it this time. I are beings, these words of you alone, and your great strength marks you among us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. So that's healing by holding the um, Yeah, I'm probably going to rush through this first little bit because I kind of know, what, know what's going on. Um, But, oops, I'm still not very good there. Um, yeah, no, so, we took down the first boss, um, and we were about to do the second one, but we died. So, this time, I'm hoping that we can uh, go a bit further. That was in three episodes, by the way. Um, so I'm hoping it's going to be the first boss in this place, because I know exactly where he is. Um. Anyway, yeah, so uh, this is the beginning stage uh, of the game. Hi beings, these words are for you alone. Uh, beyond this point, you enter the land of the king and creator, step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization in the eternal kingdom, Hallow Nest. So, I want to see, uh, I don't know if we're 100% in the game. If you like it, yeah, we might have a go, um, but, but we'll see. Here we are. Jump down here. This should lead us into dirt mouth, I believe. Remember? Okay. Uh, so we can uh, these benches. We can heal all of our things, uh, all of our lives. Uh, we can set our spawn point there. We can equip. Um, Arms, I think they call it, I can't remember. Uh, Hello there, traveller. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer a welcome. Our town's fallen quite quiet, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared, headed down that well one by one into the caverns below. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment. That darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you two seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travellers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. Uh, so I believe dreams is like the kind of like the, the main like the main thing in this game. Uh, for you, mapping supplies will be opening soon, Izelda and Cornifer. Right then, let's top down the well. So this is where the, begin, uh, the game actually begins now. Um, so we're going we're gonna to cut straight to the chase. Uh, we're going to go into the map guy, Cornifer, who uh, the shop was just talking about. Uh, it's, it's a shame, um, but... I have played a little bit of the game before I'd recorded the last video, uh, but I couldn't really remember anything about the beginning of it, so... And it was a long time ago, we're talking, I played it six months ago at least. Um, but now we're back. Great game, by the way. I love the music, I love the art style, I love everything about it. Um, I think... Um, so I ended up coming back here in the end. I think there's like grubs in here, this is where the grubs are, because there's grubs you can find around the map. Yeah, here he is. He's the grub, grub king, the elder grub, if you will. 
Um, I think, spoiler alert, he ends up eating one. But, you know, we, we, whether we'll end up getting all the grubs is something. If you want to see that, comment down below. One thing I will clear up about the comments. Um, if you comment on this one, I won't be able to respond to it until the third episode. And then that's simply because I'm recording them in um, uh, groups of three. So I'll record three episodes and then I'll check the comments from three episodes. So I might respond to them when you uh, put them on there. But I won't be able to uh, to actually... Um, to actually put, you know, use them in games if you give me a tip or anything. I would gladly accept it, but... Oh, for truth, I've got to read it. Hmm, hello. I, oh, I was reading it on my other screen. Uh, I'm fondness for exploring myself. Uh, getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade, and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? I would indeed. Um, yeah, no, I'm... So I was trying to read it, but I'm used to skipping. Uh, so we've got the map now. Uh, we can view the map. Uh, we need to get a quid, I think. A map can be a useful thing, but alone it won't show you where you are. Uh, if, you, uh, if you've if uh, you not the head for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass from my wife's eye, Zelda. Uh, she's just now opening our new map shop in Dirtmouth, selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She'd even sell you some of my old maps from time to time. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's uh, she's excited to uh, see me. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, I haven't introduced myself, have I? Yes, I should apologise for that. When you spend a lot of time by yourself with only with just your own thoughts, you forget uh, the necessities of a conversation. My name is Tornifer, and I've always loved exploring the world. Why? When I was first hatched, I wandered off immediately, leaving my brothers and sisters and my poor mother behind. That's why, as soon as I could, I moved to Dirtmouth with my wife. A huge, unending kingdom to explore right on our doorstep. Who could resist? Anyway, I'll let you return to your travels. With a little luck, we'll meet again. Uh, be safe and farewell. So, uh, the map is pretty useless on its own, if I'm going to be honest. I believe originally they were going to design the map. Um, you couldn't get the compass. Um, and, oops, oh. Um, you couldn't, uh, uh, you couldn't, um, get the compass or the quill, I don't think, and you have to work your way around, literally, using a map in real life, but they ended up adding the compass, so you don't have to worry about that, if you do end up playing the game. Or you could do it that way if you want a little bit more of a challenge, if that's what you're looking for. But for the sakes of this series, we're just going to play it, standard run. There is another mode you can do, um... But, you know, we'll just play it through normally. For this first walkthrough or playthrough or whatever you want to call it. So, uh, this is a spring. This should uh, like, uh, revive all of our soul, which is that orb in the top left hand corner there. Uh, and that uh, 46 number is how much money we have. Uh, and the little shields are, or masks they're called in this game, whereas our knives. So once we've lost all of them, we're dead. We need to get as much money in the early game as possible. The money is expensive. Money. And the more you can get early, the better. Simply get quite expensive. As a progression game. Saves later in grinding. I hopefully in this we can at least get the first spell, which is what we got in the first episode last time, like the first boss. It's not too bad. Um so this is the map. Uh, the boss is that weird horned creature in the middle there. Uh, I believe we need to go this way. Yeah, no, once we've explored a bit, I'll probably just cut to the um, cut out the boring bits. Um, but you know, you want to see the map at the moment. Right, there we go. That's the sign towards the. Um, Stag station, which is right below the boss arena, so the stag stations in here. You can unlock that, which is a fast travel in the game, if you are not aware. On the bench, always rest at the benches when you see them if you do end up playing the game. Uh, oh, 50 cheers, that's quite expensive. 
this means we have a travel back to dirt map a little conversation with him Greetings, little one. It's been an age since I last heard the ringing of the station bell. It echoed down the stagways and called me to you. I've grown stiff and tired over these many years and I've forgotten much, but the sound of the bell will always call me back. These stagways stretch, deep in, uh, stretch the depths of the Hallow Nest. If you want to travel them, hail me from the platform and I'll take you where you to go. So we'll just quickly pop back to Dirt Map just to see the prices of like the... Uh, um, <clears throat> the uh, compass, the compass and the quill. Um, so, if you hear a reverb of the music or the um, or my voice, it's because I'm watching me uh, on my computer. Just so you know. Oh, uh, back in Dirt Mouth. Uh, there's the older Belgian. Let's speak to him. This is the shop that Kornoff's wife is, Iselda, or whatever she is. Ah, <sighs> Barpanada. Come to buy map, have you? It's really my husband you should be dealing with. But what a surprise, he's headed down below. He'll pop back occasionally to deliver new maps to the store, but I do wish he'd spend a little bit more time up here. I've not much interest in retail myself. Now let's see what uh, what's here for me to sell. Oh, blimey, the, uh, okay, that's the compass there, and that's, those are the two more important things. Then, uh, the bench pin's always quite nice to mark where the benches are. Stagway pin, that'd be quite good. Yeah, that's not right, there's not very many on the map, though. Right, they're the two important things. These top three things here, so what are we gonna need? We're gonna need, uh, 340, 440 we're gonna need. Let's get everything we want. 340 to get, uh, the top two items, uh, which are the most important things. Back down. Do this boss. Oh, Hopefully we can one shot him because we one shot him last time, which was quite a shock. Uh, although if you remember back, I'm fairly I mean, being a uh, modest and all, but I am fairly good at two D <gasps> games because I don't if anyone can remember back uh, about two years now to the Terraria series. Uh, that's a bit like uh, well that's that is too big. Very similar fighting style with bosses and that. Um Yeah, I think the first boss is in here. There's a really big beetle in here that I actually struggle with more than the boss. Yeah, this guy. It's a bit of a tough one. He's a bit like the... Yeah, that's why. He does so much damage. But actually, I did manage to take him down after the boss by using the spell. You can uh, parry attacks in this game, but... It's, uh... Oh, there we go. Uh, you can't parry um, attacks like that. We need to, like, bigger things like that, harder uh, enemies do give a lot more um, geo, is what it's called, the currency in this game. I don't really know what it's meant to represent. It looks like some kind of domus or something, or some skin, I don't know. It's weird looking. Some armor plating. I believe the boss is up here and to the left. This boss, I think think has um, something. I don't really know his relevance in the storyline. I think he's just like a star boss to get you used to the game. Um, he's not like any, I mean he's important. He can't be out, but, you know, the false knight. He's false. Uh, I know a little, I looked up the lore for this game because I was intrigued. Uh, it's very ambiguous. I looked it up, and there's someone called the Pale King. He is the leader of the Hallow Nest. Ouch. Uh, and he. What happened? I think it was I looked it up, but he is the leader. Uh, I think we do actually end up going to the uh, Pale Palace. Level. I don't know why this guy is false either, like, it looks pretty genuine. Meteorites for me, this guy. Ow. Fast. Though 
lose the orange things, I think that's the infection. Um, that is quite important. Maybe this guy does have some important things. It's like False knight! Oh my god, we're gonna die. But no, I love the music to this game. You don't find very many games that have this style of music. You don't get soul from the game, you only get soul from the head. Okay, that's interesting. Out, you can't. What are you meant to do there, though? Out, like, he's cornering. Those, uh, because I think if you can okay. I don't know if those, uh, meteorites actually damage him. If you hear me spamming buttons, is I'm playing on Xbox, so good on. Uh, actually, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I think it is. I think it is available on, um, uh, uh so. City Crest. This guy's weird because his armor is actually like a thing that you can hit afterwards. He crawls off because he wasn't here when I got uh, when I did it the first time. <laughs> but anyway, that is what we want. All this money. So what do we say? Four hundred and forty to get everything we want. So we're already on three hundred. So we can already get the first two things. Was it? No, the first thing was two hundred. We need to get 340 to get the, um, the first one. I don't think we went through here, let's try and... Ah, no we did, no we did, um, in the first three episodes. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't save them, I feel really embarrassed, but there we go. I'm streaming them and I didn't uh, save it because I didn't download the VOD for it. Um, because uh, this is, I used to do it a different way where I'd film it on on my Xbox, where I'd film it through their uh, their thing, and it, you, you had to sync your voice with it, and it didn't really work very well. Oh ho! Uh, who's that creeping out of the darkness? My, you're looking grim. A strange, empty face, a wicked and a wicked-looking weapon. Something important has drawn you down into the hollow nest's corpse, but I won't ask what. Perhaps the reason you found me is because you need my help. Say no more, friend. I'm going to give you a gift. A nasty little spell of my own creation. It's just perfect for a little one like you. Oh, hoo 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 hoo. This is our first spell. I can't put it back to learn what to do. I literally did this three days ago as well. The Vengeful Spirit. Tap B to unleash soul, so it's like a ranged attack. Um, once again, all the spells in this game do deplete soul like the uh, the thing. Oh, who? You've woken at last. I apologise. Perhaps I should have warned you about the power of that spell. I was watching over you as you slept, but you seem to have slipped away myself. A snail shaman. Uh, now we're awake, I was wondering whether you could do me a f small favour, not as a repayment of the gift, of course, simply because now we're friends. You see, a horrible great beast has made its home in the heart of this temple. Such disrespect. I would be quite grateful if you were to go and venture deeper and slay it for me. It's a hardy creature, but with your new power, you're more than a match for it. Good luck with this small favour, my friend. Oh, hoo 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 so, we did this in the first one. Oh, yes, in here. Uh, don't really want to waste our soul. Uh, it 
does draw, spells do drain quite a lot. You can do everything in this. Oh, there's that. You can see it's a bigger version of him. The, uh, the guy. Spells are all right. They are they're powerful, but they do use a lot of uh, a lot of soul. So exactly what it's like uh, or you'll see I already know what it's like because I played this bit many t I've played it twice this bit oh whoops not that I've got any better at it probably heal actually because although that takes soul I can come across an enemy to revive the soul I mean, use unnecessarily Blend in a bit. I don't think I went. Oh no, I did go through there. I didn't give it three souls, so maybe I could use that. Uh, what's back here? Anything of interest? Oh, secret area. I think I did go up through here as well. I think there's like. Mm, but we need as much money as we can get, so. Yep, there is money. So as I was saying earlier, I mean, we've got enough now, haven't we? No. Now we've got enough. Uh, to get whatever it was, if it was 340. Oh, there's a thing up here as well. Okay. The pulsating blue sack. The best way to describe it. And I didn't get any of it. There we go. I still didn't get any of it. Is that not one that you've got the, uh, another hit? Two masks. Right, let's go down. And that was a waste. Wake up first. Ow. Oh, I got those extra things. Ow, god, they're fast, aren't they? Ow. And he's dead. Soul catcher, a grip of Ay, they are charms. Uh, grip of charms, group of bench. Oh, who? So it's done then. You've slain the beast. The poor thing. It must have been terrified of you. It used to be quite docile, but the rancid air in these caverns filled it with some ancient rage. Uh, still, you did what had to be done. Uh, you have my gratitude, of course. We both know you wouldn't have made it out with that spell of mine. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. And look, the gate between us has opened. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. Uh, I'm sure you're quite eager to move on. Farewell and have faith. Whatever you are seeking, it will find you. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. It's a bit of a strange one, the snail shaman. Yeah, let's equip that uh, charm. There we go. Uh, so the notch, hang on, I'll just show you. So these notches here, um, they're how many charms you can have equipped. So this charm is two notches. Uh, it costs two, um, and I think the way you would come across is one, so we're all right. Uh, right, well, I think we just... No, we've, we've got a little bit more time. I'll make this first episode a little bit longer than the uh, the other ones. Uh, we'll make our way over to the next area, which is called Green Path. Um, and then... And then I will end up there, uh, do I? Yeah, I will. Let's go with that. I think I'll make this up. Just enough time, I'd say. I think we leave this one about 25 minutes. I think that's not green pass. This one down here is green pass. Not that one. This one, the one with the green hedges around it. Right. The Pilgrim's Way. Travelers of the Hallow Nest descend through verdant wilds and fungal groves to the city at the kingdom's heart. There, all wishes shall be granted, all truths revealed. So this is the way, but that one is about. That one is about. Actually, the baby has like. That's a fart. Oh. 
hopefully by the time we come across the final boss in this game, I've improved a bit. <laughs> Plenty of money from all these, uh... Well, it should be... Oh god, no, 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 no. Ooh, that was close. We are on one half. I'm trying not to fall into the So I don't think our map will work. Oh no, our map does work in here. This isn't Green Path then, just yet. Green Path should be through this door. It looks the exact same, but... Right, yeah, this is Green Path then. Yeah, here we go, Green Path. So this is where the second boss is in here somewhere. I believe she was the Hornet. I believe she's the main character of the uh, sequel to this game. Well, I think with our first death, I think we shall end that video here. Good boy, back here now, aren't we? Yeah, I think we shall end this uh, video here, uh, and in the next one, we will be going. Back to Dirtmouth, probably. We'll grab the compass while we're here, uh, and then we'll um, progress on to Green Path. So I want to thank everyone for watching this episode of uh, Hollow Knight, the first episode. If you like it, smash the like button down below. Make sure you subscribe so you're notified when the next upload comes out. It should be at Sunday, hopefully at 12 o'clock. If not, it'll be at 3 o'clock. Um, and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.